Hey guys, week 11 of the CO2 up at 1300 ppm versus atmospheric CO2, so around 450 uh, ppm, uh, chili grow uh, in cocoa. Hopefully, you can see down here. And um, strangely, it looks like the non CO2 is catching up a little bit. Um, might be just the volume of the plants, it may not be the density, but it looks like they are. This side has caught up compared to this side, which was sort of um, flying ahead. As I said, it may be more dense and heavy here. We'll, we'll know in another week or two, and I'm going to chop them and um, weigh them both. Uh, it did have a little bit of an issue over here the last couple of weeks, it was getting rolled leaves and like endema, like these just bubbling on the leaves, which, you know, checking online, talking to chili growers would say that uh, humidity is too high, but um, yeah, it didn't seem too high. The, um, we had it at about 75, 80% with the dehumidifier here, but um, have since turned down the dehumidifier, humidity is now way up. Uh, it's showing 84%, if you can see there. And also the temperature has dropped a little bit. Whoa, just dropped the sensor. The temperature has dropped a little bit. These are running a little bit cooler, that may help too. It was up at around 28 degrees centigrade, about so 85 Fahrenheit. Um, which may have been a, bit, a little bit too warm for them, but in any case, the both sides are looking healthy. Um, flowering a lot. Again, not, not fruiting as much as I would like. I've been giving them a good shake every couple of days to, um, to pollinate them. This side has a bit more fruit. Hard to see now because it's green. Uh, you see the chili there. Can you see them? I'm just about to see the chilies there. So, it's a fair amount of chilies on this side. Oh, it's too dark in there, but a good bit more on that side than this side. Again, maybe may have been the humidity and the temperature, not quite sure. But um, in any case, getting close to uh, the harvest time. And uh, we'll see if all the cost and the effort and the sealing and the humidity control and everything is worthwhile between the two sides, for chili plants at least. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, do a full review soon. As I think I said before, I'm going to do a test as well, of different CO2 methods. I'm going to keep the seal tent up. I'm going to try mushroom bags um, and, you know, the yeast and, and sugar um, solutions and see if we can generate decent levels of PPM in there, uh, CO2 and uh, how, you know, how much it costs and how effective it is and everything. So yeah, be interested to see. So yeah, stay tuned. Take care.